Good day and welcome. Hi and welcome. Yeah. Good day. Hi and welcome. <clears throat> All right. Actually, kind of cool out here today. Considering it was 44 degrees yesterday, today I'm like I'm cold. I'm gonna go for a ride on the motorcycle pretty soon, but I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up. I'm gonna show you something that I discovered about my van. Now, let's say you need a special hiding spot for your van for I don't know some particular item, like say a windshield wiper in sitting in there. Like, well, why would there be a windshield wiper sitting in there? <laughs> that was funny as hell. Like, there it is. Just, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you something about cleaning up. You can see all how bad that is right there. You can see all the things like uh, this here. You just wipe it down really quick and it looks good, right? Doesn't take much. Well, you just do the, the, the quick preliminaries uh, before you take the, the the sponge and everything to, to it. So I just got to kind of get into all the crevices and stuff. It's a good way to inspect things too. Uh, you can see like down in here, it's all cruddy. I'm just going to do that like here. Uh, it's just, that's like cake on. There's like 20, uh, there's got to be at least 40 pounds of sand on. I've never cleaned this van. So there's all beach sand in there. Uh, that's going to change. That's going to change. The van is going to be taken be slightly better care of. <sighs> slightly. I mean, well, it's got to be taken care of. You can see like stuff like this, the pollen on it. Now, this is an old vehicle, so I'm not worried about scratching, but if you were going to do this, just go light. If, if it's a newer vehicle, obviously, you don't want to scratch the paint. This is just kind of more get the worst off. You say, well, we're going to just go at it with the garden hose and everything. Uh, yeah, you're going to do that. But uh, get the rough, the, the thick stuff, the real rough, thick stuff first. Just wipe it down because it just, when you, when you go at it with the hose first, the first thing you notice is the amount of mud you create. Like, for example, you got leaves and other crap that's it. Hey, what else is in here? What's that? What's that? There's all kinds of treasure in there. I don't know what it does, but I found it. See this stuff? Look at that. That's the stuff that's going to create the rust, right? Uh, where my, my rust problems are, I mean, I, for example, here's probably the worst spot on the, uh, on the, on the, the hatch. And I'm wearing eye protection while I'm doing this. What I'm going to do is just be very careful. I should be wearing gloves. But uh, bundle it up so it's not right on your hands. And just give it a quick like that. Just so that some of that loose rust comes off. So you can see what you're working with. Eh? And I'm going to have to fill in all that. Good time to give that a shot of shot or something. But all this is going to have to come off. See all that stuff there. And a lot of that I could just grind off. But uh, get all the loose stuff first. And then all I'm going to do is grind it. And then just paint it. Just to protect it. Uh, but I got to take it right down. Just give it a quick cleaning. Just a wipe down, real quick wipe down. Uh, everywhere, like here, you see all that sand and everything. Just give that a quick going over, you know, like just get in there. It's hard to do it with uh, while holding the phone, but you get a, get the idea. Uh, you say, well, Reg, that's not going to do much. Well, do a little bit each day. Okay, look, see how quick that shines up? Okay, and w when it's smooth and clean, it's not rusting. Remember, rust never sleeps. But I'm going to show you the inside of my doors. Look at this. I, th this is just the dry clean. Okay, we well, can see it better here. It almost looks like a new vehicle, you know. You're just doing this. You know, but also, too, you can, you can uh, like, say down at the end of the doors here. You can watch uh, for rust. You don't want to end up with tetanus. But now I see what it, This door's not too bad. The other door's a little bit worse down here. You see all this loose paint? Okay, I'm going to get all that out of there, and I'm going to get ahead of it before it's really bad. Underneath this door, it is a little bit cruddy, but I'm going to go in there with a gr brush grinder later. But look at this here, like, for example, believe it or not, there's mold here. Uh, probably should be wearing a hazard mask while I'm doing this. But you see how dirty that is? You know, just, again, just a little bit of a, just wipe the whole thing. Just wipe it all, and then go over it with the hose and everything like that. Um... What are these? I bet you don't know what these things are. These things, okay, n people ha look at them all the time. Uh, if they even look at them, they probably don't even realize they're on the vehicle. You got one here. Uh, you got uh, here. You got one up here. You have one there. You got one. Okay, look at how dirty it is behind here again. Look at that. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. This. Just 
uh, my camera's probably not even picking up how bad it actually is. Little stuff like that. Get it all cleaned out. All that rough stuff, all those channels cleaned out. Um, back here, look, you got some of these rubber things again here, or that's not them, sorry. Uh, but uh, you got them kind of all over the all over the place. Uh, oh, see, I got a little hole here. I don't know what the is a like a like a tefl like a nylon on there. But yeah, just give it a quick clean up and getting that track out. I might need to get a brush or something. But all that crap that's sitting in there that sits there long enough that's going to hold in the moisture to. Ah. Okay, that's going to hold in the moisture there, and that's going to rust right there where it is. Uh, let's see if I can find some more of those little things for you. I'm going to tell you what they are in a second. And, okay, I'm not a licensed mechanic. See, there's another one on this door here. And you're going to find them sometimes, a lot of times you'll find them on the door here or whatever. Um, I'm going to tell you what, okay, I'm not a licensed mechanic, but in when it comes to those little rubber grommets, I'm an expert. I'm not an expert, I'm a professional expert. Uh, I've probably got a couple of hundred vehicles uh, in one season. You got a big one right here. These just pop out and they'll go back in. Sometimes they, uh, they'll, you'll destroy them taking them out. You got another big one here. Yeah, it just popped out, put it back in. Uh, and uh, what it's for is for oil sprays, is what it's for. That, that's where you, you spray inside. Uh, this little spot here, you're probably wondering what this is. Well, this is where you're, you, you can get inside that with an oil spray. Uh, if you have the right attachment, you get in there and it just sprays it all over the place. You could go in here, but it'll also drip out there. That's a drain. That's what it is. That, that's a drain. Um, I believe the reason why it, these vans rust out right here the worst is because it's not proper drainage here. So everything that would get in there would just seep and hold there and that's why the whole bottom of this like here is okay but just underneath it's like it's uh, sorry viewers discretion advised much 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 rust here that's all coming off so the van is it's rough but it's it's salvageable if I'm willing to put the effort into it and if I can get another two years out of it I'd be very happy if I can get more than that <laughs> you know if I had like a, you know, like uh, it's it's one of those things where it's not worth putting any money into them, but it's kind of like for the price and for my budget. I mean, just coming up with the money I need to fix this is going to take me months at the current income level I'm at. Um, it wasn't supposed to quite happen this way, but it's how it's ha it's how it's working. So basically, I was supposed to drive this thing into the ground and t and just keep saving up money, and when this dies, whatever sweet honey pot of money I would have I would just that, that's what the price of my vehicle was going to be so at first it was like okay I'll save up a thousand dollars buy another car but I said well if this thing is still running and still working why you know why stop there why stop at a thousand maybe I make it to three thousand maybe I make it to five thousand dollars you know what kind of vehicle you can get for three to five thousand dollars if you know what you're looking for you can get something pretty darn sweet you know um, with you know probably high high mileage sure but uh, no rust on it. If you get a vehicle with no rust, take advantage of that. Uh, rust is the biggest problem I have. Doing in here is going to be a big... Hey, oh, look what I found in here. I found a 7-pin. I don't think it's ever been used. <laughs> That's where my jack... It was in the jack box. It was in the jack in the box, but there was no jack... There's sand all over the place in here. You can even oil spray just in here a bit. Just got to watch your electrical contacts. Um... When I do, I, I've done oil sprays on like $90,000 vehicles and stuff like that. And uh, it, it, Whether it's a $90,000 vehicle or a, a $600 clunker like this, uh, you know, it, 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 it's the rust never sleeps. That, that's all you need to know. So what I'm doing right now is basically the preliminary get the uh, pollen off of this thing uh, before I go at it. Just, just like a quick wipe. Like I'm not... And also, see that rough rust? I, I want to get that. This is the worst side of the van right here. Is right here. And this wheel well is just starting. So I want to take all that stuff off. And this is a good way to do it. And just be very careful about your fingers so you, you don't want to get um, tetanus from uh, whatever. Now, while I'm at this, the other thing I'm going to start doing is oiling things up. Um, this van, okay, it's just, just get the worst stuff up. And then I can go at it with a nice, soft... 
sponge and, and, and the hose and stuff like that. But if I just get this mucky, gunky stuff up there, that's probably the, the best thing. So this is, yeah, this is, I guess, just another rubber thing. So there's a hole around here somewhere. There's one here. But I don't see where the second hole is. Unless I got a spare here, I don't know. Let's see if we can get up in here. Eh. There's one. But where does the other one? So this is the spare? I don't know. So there's one. Okay, this, this is the one I found up there. But there's only one hole. How does it... What? <laughs> Too bad I couldn't find like 1500 bucks in here or something like that. Found a, found a worn out windshield wiper and an extra. That was probably the old one that wore out and then somebody... Maybe got it oil sprayed at one point, but all this dirt, I want all that dirt out of here. You know, and just go at it with a a rag. Look at all, look at all that. That's not dirt, that's sand. <laughs> you know, so just put it, you know, and some of it's not going to come off easy, so you're not trying to get a spick and span. But also, too, now you do this in the engine bay, too. Um, like the real hard stuff, yeah, you leave, you're going to leave that for the sponges and stuff. But it, it just it makes life easier uh, for one reason or another. It's, I guess, the simplest you could say is that what it does for you is that, especially anywhere there's oil or anything like that, oil and water we know don't mix. So the dry ragging, uh, dry, dry cleaning it, so to speak, dry rag clean is a great way. You could use brushes to get in there and stuff like that if you don't want to wrap your knuckles but it's a great way to um, take off the worst uh, stuff because sometimes water just makes it really bad uh, to do uh, it just smears it all over the place and it just just becomes like unmanageable mess so sometimes dry cleaning it actually does more than what you think uh, better than the way you wanted it and then when you do take the water to it it makes it a lot easier Ow, oh, this is really hard on the head Gotta be careful, I can't damage this brain. Not only am I a pretty, fa uh, pretty face, but I gotta keep that thing, gotta keep that noggin working. So, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Like, yesterday I discovered there was an actual, some sort of sticker on there. I'm actually really, really excited to find out what it is. Hang on, get, get some of this out of here. Okay, look. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> this was so gunked up. I, I can't get to the other side easily, and I'm not going to remove the engine to, to de... Again, this is never going to be a show vehicle, but you see all that heavy, gunky stuff there. You can just take some of it off. You know, so why do this? Well, here's another thing. For example, the air box here, I want to get this thing clean. I'm probably going to get... I got some little brushes in there. I'm going to use that to get into the tight spots. But you see between here, you got a... Here's your throttle. Okay, here's your engine intake. Uh... And here's your air box. If you have to take this apart, all that sand sitting right here and here is going to go into your engine. So if you stay at stay on top of it a bit, eh, let me go. Do a little bit at a time. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I mean, I'm in no rush to get... This thing's not going to be on the road for a long time yet. So um, getting around this. Just, you know, anything that... Kind of just wipe it down. Get in there. Get as clean as you can. Then go at it. So go at it dry first. Is just go around the entire entire vehicle. Uh, the edges of the hood. You know, stuff like that. You'll feel the rough spots where your, your, your rust is about to start. Get all that stuff. Clean all this stuff. Just, just do whatever you got to do, you know. And then, again, it doesn't have to be a show car. But what you're doing is trying to get the worst off. So it also allows you to inspect it. Like, for example, a little rust right here. allows you to inspect it, right? Um, I just get the, the heavy stuff off and then the rest will, you know, like for example, there's heavy pollen up there. I'll probably just get a ladder. Well, I already went over it with a snow brush, but there's a stick on it now. But uh, just get inside your doors, wherever the big sand is and stuff like that. The rest of the stuff like this, I mean, yeah, it, it just, just, you're just taking the light stuff off, the heavy stuff off first. You know, get out of it, go, go through the channel and, you know, shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes or whatever to do maybe half an hour and uh see this door is like just i don't know if you could see it all it's all that's pollen on there but uh, what you do is like it just doesn't take much you just give it a quick and again you can see where all now i can see all my blisters okay you can see where all my blisters are which means that's where the rust is going to break out 
which I'm going to grind all that off as soon as I get the paint and everything to do it. Um, body work is going to be ongoing. Actually, the body work is probably going to be the cheapest thing to do. Get inside the channels. You know, you see, I like it. Like, it gives it, the paint a quick shine. Like, it doesn't take much here uh, in, inside the door. And just go over that with my thumb. Also, too, uh, you can go over your all your rubber parts here, make it close a bit better. So just a quick dry clean like this. Great way to inspect the vehicle, and it also will reveal things, you know, it's like, oh, hey, you know, where if you were just to hose it or whatever, and you can't really hose in there anyway, because you you know, unless you don't care about the interior. Um, but it's a great way to, to discover where your rust is, uh, maybe you got broken or missing parts. This thing's actually missing a few things, and and then of course you discover things that like uh, that were sitting there that you didn't know, like such as uh, windshield wiper stuff. So I just thought I'd show you that. I know it's a long, kind of babbly video. I I do a little bit each day. Getting underneath this thing with the grinder is going to be fun. That's uh, slow but sure. I'll get it, and I will get this all cleaned out with the shop back and everything. There's so much sand in here; it's not funny. I mean, especially like places like that. But where that sand is sitting, that's where it's going to rust because you're just trapping it in there. So, but if you again going over that with a, you know, you might be able to get if you have a pressure washer, a lot of it'll come off. But you know, whatever. But it's 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 still a good idea to go over it like that because then you can inspect like things like hinges and you know your shocks and whatever. I mean, like all that junk in there. Get it all cleaned out, and it doesn't take much to clean all that out anyway. So. Again, maybe just do 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is, and uh, yeah, here we go. We got another ah, flying my glasses. Well, I guess these are uh, okay. That's a different way of doing it, but basically, little tape things. So you pull that off, and then you could just oil spray in there, and then tape them up again. I'll have to get some more. So that, that's what it looks like. You see all this again. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Here we go.